The debate continues about which diet is best to prevent heart disease. And with more findings out about looking at lower LDL cholesterol levels, people are saying we may have the answer, but we don't. Let's turn a skeptical eye to diets and what causes heart disease. If you examine the arteries of someone who has died of a stroke or of heart disease, when you open them up, you will find that they are filled with plaque, what we call plaque, and that is filled with cholesterol and lipids. This led early physicians to believe that a diet low in cholesterol and low in fat would lead to less laying down of that cholesterol and fat in the arteries, and therefore they would have less heart disease. Turns out that wasn't the case. The culprit in heart disease and in disease of the carotid artery leading to strokes is actually what we call lipoproteins. You know them by the name of HDL, LDL, VLDL, and a whole alphabet soup of them. All of those lipoproteins, including the one that we say is good, good the good cholesterol, cause an inflammation of the arteries, which then lays down the fat and the cholesterol in the arteries. So here's how I want you to think of it. Lipoproteins, let's use LDL as an example, that's the lousy one, LDL, the bad cholesterol. Lipoproteins simply are carriers of cholesterol and carriers of triglycerides. If you have a lot of cholesterol in your bloodstream, such as people who have a genetic disease called familial hypercholesterolemia, you will make more of those proteins to carry that cholesterol away. The more of those proteins you have, the more inflammation in the arteries of the heart, the more they will lay down cholesterol, and that's why those people die of an early death. Same with triglyceride. If you have familial hypertriglycidemia, then what will happen is you will make more of those proteins to carry that, the L, low density lipoproteins away, and even though you may have a low cholesterol but a high triglyceride level, you will have coronary artery or cerebral artery disease. So that brings the question. What's the best diet to cause that to be lower? One of the problems is, is our way of measuring those is by measuring cholesterol. We measure it indirectly. So all of the studies that have gone on talking about low-density lipoprotein cholesterol levels versus high-density lipoprotein cholesterol levels have gone out the window. Even the recent published in Journal American Medical Association talking about a diet to reduce low-density lipoprotein cholesterol as to prevent heart disease goes out the window because it doesn't take into account the number of proteins of lipoproteins. It is those number of proteins that is directly related to a person's ability whether they will have and develop heart disease or not. So what can you do? Not so much with cholesterol but with triglycerides. Triglycerides, because the more triglycerides you have, those triglycerides will force you to increase the number of low-density lipoproteins as well as a whole other alphabet soup and all of those will cause you to have more heart disease. You have more problems with triglycerides than you ever will with cholesterol. Here's what you can do. Triglyceride formation is directly related to a number of things that you do consume. Consuming highly processed items, like one of my favorites. This is, these brownies are actually made, commercially available, made by a patient of mine. The more of these sorts of things that you eat, the higher level of triglycerides you have, and chances are you'll be making more of those proteins that cause more inflammation of your arteries. Instead of a snack, this is a better one to eat. It contains fiber, which also helps even prevent that cholesterol or that triglycerides from entering into your bloodstream. This is a better item for you. With breads, far better to have breads that are made of whole wheat, and not just brown bread that's called undyed whole wheat, but really that meaty, juicy, great bread. Even better yet are omega-3 fatty acids. Omega-3 fatty acids are commonly found in salmon and fish, and that we, we recommend that you have at least two servings of that a week. The second thing that we recommend is eggs. Now, some people say eggs are bad because the cholesterol is high, but you can get eggs that are made with lots of omega-3 fatty acids. That's done because if the farmers are feeding the chickens on a diet high in flaxseed, their omega-3 fatty acid levels will be 10 times higher than conventional eggs. Trust me, it's worth spending a couple of extra bucks on eggs that have higher omega-3 fatty acid levels. Other things you can do to increase triglycerides, which is bad, includes alcohol. Alcohol does not free up your arteries. Alcohol increases triglyceride levels. That's why when you find alcoholics, 
many of them die of heart disease or cirrhosis. So, things that you can do. Reasonable diet, lose some weight, drink very modestly, have a diet that is more filled with fruits and vegetables, and avoid processed items made out of flour or sugar as much as possible. Moderation in all things, including moderation. I'm Dr. Terry Simpson, and that's your doctor's orders.